If you want to know what's changing in Menifee, California, watch this video. I had a chance to go and listen to the city manager here in Menifee and really hear a discussion with him about what projects are coming to Menifee, what changes are coming in the future, what infrastructure and all the different plans they have as a city. Uh, if you want to find out about that, watch this video. We're going to go over all the details and hopefully give you some good info. So again, my name is Justin Short. I am a realtor and team leader here in Southern California. Um, I'm here local in the Marietta, Temecula, and Menifee area. That's really where most of our business is. And I wanna make sure we're gonna keep these videos coming regularly for you. And today we are gonna talk a little bit more about the city of Menifee. So uh, we've, we've ran a couple of these videos now. Uh, we've already done Marietta and Temecula. This one's gonna be about Menifee, and we have a couple more coming for Wildemar and Lake Elsinore. But uh, basically the gist is is I had a chance to go down and listen to a really, really cool presentation by the local city managers for all those cities and really hear a nice presentation from them about you know what has recently been going on there in the cities at like a city level, um, what future plans they have as a city, what infrastructure they're putting into place, where they're spending money, kind of what they're proud of, what bragging rights they have as a city, and they all kind of gave all their little info. Um, and I, I, learned, I learned a lot. I mean, I've lived here over 20 years and I thought it was really good perspective for me, so I wanted to take it and you know give you guys the information on these videos, and hopefully it's it's good information for you guys. Um, so, but first thing, if you are liking the videos, please, please, please go ahead and hit like. Please go ahead and hit subscribe. Um, helps me. It helps the channel. Obviously, you know that's why I'm doing that. Uh, doing this, you know, is to grow the channel and you know obviously help our business. So, and if, if you have any real estate questions, would love to hear from you guys. You can call, text, email. Um, I have a lot of people that reach out to me all the time from YouTube. Um, I'm happy to chat with you guys. Uh, and answer any questions that you may have or you know just see, see what we can do to help you so it's not me one of my team members but um would love to hear more from you guys so feel free but please like please hit subscribe and cool let's go ahead and get into it so um, again we're talking about menifee i uh, went to that city managers meeting and if you want to know about Marietta, if you want to know about temecula you can check out some of the other videos and again we're going to do one on wildemar and one on lake elsinore but um, i guess a, a couple stats that they rattled off that I, that I didn't know which i thought were pretty cool the, the biggest one that's probably the most surprised is city of menifee is now the fifth fastest growing city in california so i thought that was super cool i mean they were super proud of it um, you know with all the new construction that's going on and all the building that's happened over the last bit few years I mean it's really I guess it's not surprising to hear but um, it's it I, I thought it was a pretty shocking stat just because it was such a that, that, that's a that's a big number I mean we fit in the state as far as fastest growing cities and um, I know that they've been ranked up there pretty pretty high uh, for for a while now so I think that was pretty cool um, also they were really proud to talk about the their city police department so uh, the city the Menifee City Police Department opened up I think it was over the last couple of years probably the last two years I think it was like right pre-COVID area is about when they when they had opened. Um, and I know that was a big deal and it's really hard to kind of build a police, you know, a, a police department right from scratch. I mean, there's a lot of infrastructure they put in, a lot of money that they're spending, a lot of people they have to hire, et cetera. Um, but I, one of the things I didn't really realize is they're one of the few in this area that have their own police department. Um, most of the other surrounding cities are will use the sheriffs, the Riverside County sheriffs. So they have county sheriffs um, that they kind of subcontract sometimes or they just use uh, you know regular through the, the sheriffs through the county um, but Marietta has their own police department and then so does Menifee so they were the only two that were there that had their own private police department so um, they were super proud of that and it seems to be going really really well um, Menifee is really becoming safer and safer as far as like the rankings that you see all the time and with all the growth that they're experiencing I mean it was I thought it was, it was pretty cool so um, they also mentioned that coming what, as far as what's coming up New, new in 2022. So that was kind of another another section of the presentation where they talked about all the new plans that they have and what they're excited about going forward. Uh, the first thing that they talked about is some, a couple new parks. Well, I, I guess a few new parks. So there's four new parks that they're building in 2022 that will be completed in 2022. So they're already being built. Um, that was something they're excited about. They're trying to add more and more. Um, and obviously, a lot of the surrounding cities have many parks, but uh, they're, they're trying to continue to add more they want it to be you know in areas where 
the re local residents can go out and use that. They can use the grass. The kids can use the grass. Um, you know, they, they have jungle gyms. They have tot lots. They have all types of different stuff. Some of skate parks. You know, all those types of things. So they're super pumped on that. Um, and then uh, they also talked about a lot of infrastructure. So Menifee, with being one of the fastest growing cities in California, uh, that means a lot more people are moving there, right? So if you're building a lot of houses, um, they're building some more shopping centers. We'll, we'll get into some of that. Um, but when you have that, you have just more people going there, which means more traffic, more cars, right? So they to do to cope with that and really to help continue to grow, you need infrastructure. So the biggest thing that uh, they had talked about is they're actually going to be adding a new freeway interchange off of Garbani. So um, if you can, you can picture a map. And, or if you know the area, so you, Menifee is basically off, off the 215 freeway that runs more or less north and south. Um, the most south exit in Menifee is Scott Road. Going north, you run into Menifee Road, and then a little bit farther up, it becomes McCall Road. So it's kind of probably the three main exits off the 215 freeway. So now they are gonna add a fourth exit, which is just north of Scott Road. So now between Scott and between Newport, there's gonna be a third or an extra exit, which is gonna be Garbani, um, so which is pretty cool. I mean, but both of those off-ramps currently get quite a bit of traffic. Um, so they're, they're gonna add one more. It's gonna take a lot of pressure off and help people get over out to their houses and some of the shopping centers. So it's gonna be a ex an off ramp off of Garbani. It's gonna be a bridge over the 215 freeway. So you can exit east, you can exit west. Um, so you can, go, you can go either way there. And that's really gonna help a ton. So obviously those things take time, but it has already been approved uh, by, I guess, Caltrans, I guess who approves that. And it's just kind of a matter of time until that actually that actually will get developed. Um, also, they had talked about an expansion to Scott Road. So uh, really, a lot of that has already happened. Um, if you're if you live here local, if you're familiar with the area, Scott Road again is that most southern exit off of the freeway. They just redid that off ramp um, and on ramp over the last year or so um, on both sides, and they're actually still expanding, adding some more lanes uh, to make it a little bit wider. So uh, they're hoping that's going to con that, that'll help us continue to help with some of the you know the traffic flow and keep things moving um, it's actually been really nice the one that they, they added in so that was a that was a big improvement myself and something we use all the time so we go to, when we go out to Menifee so um, also just talking about overall growth so we talked about it's one of the fastest growing cities but what I thought was another big stat is there's actually 8,000 homes that are going to be built in Menifee in the next three years which I thought was a ton. I mean, that means they're adding almost 3,000 homes per year for the next three years. So that's a ton of growth. That's a ton more homes that are going to be coming. Ton more people that are going to be coming in. Um, it's just really good for the you know the local area to continue to grow. I'm sure that's going to continue to help uh, property values and continue to help the area expand. So um, that was pretty cool. Um, as you're getting all those homes, you also need some more you know, shopping centers and whatnot. Uh, so they have two new major shopping centers that are hoping to be built in 2022. Uh, the first one is off of Goats Road, I think I pronounced that right, it's Goats Road, uh, which is kind of in the uh, western, most western, northern, western portion of uh, Menifee, kind of off Newport Road. So you take Newport, you go west, uh, all the way kind of to the, uh, to, the, to the end there, and they run into Goats Road, kind of the Audie Murphy Ranch area so they're putting a new shopping center over there which is pretty cool and they're putting a another one off of McCall so uh, which is that third north exit that we talked about off the 215 freeway that's McCall Road so they're putting uh, another shopping center out there which is cool so I'm sure that's kind of close to Heritage Lakes area I would think so which is pretty cool um, and then they shared a couple good good stats on uh, about the local community college. So if you don't know, the local community college here is MSJC. Um, so that's Mount San Jacinto. Um, they have a satellite. What's really it's like satellite campus in Menifee. So that's right off of again right off Newport Road. Um, it, it's really a satellite off the satellite. It's a satellite location, but it's a huge campus. So I, I think it's gotta be bigger than their 
MSJC and then their main campus now. Um, I mean, I went to MSJC, it was a while ago now, but you know, I guess 15, 16 years ago when I got out of high school and it, it ain't nothing when it went. <laughs> it's changed a lot, you know, it's a lot bigger than it was, uh, it was pretty small. So they've expanded a lot. They're always doing construction there. You always see new buildings going up there. Um, and they're, right now, the big thing is they are building a new STEM building. So which is cool because they even offer like some really cool like high school kid classes. Uh, you can like early start early college education stuff um, like at night and weekends and things like that. So if you're maybe a little more advanced, you know, high school student, um, and they're also building a new football stadium at the MSJC campus there too. So which is pretty cool. So um, and with that, the set they shared is MSJC is actually the fastest growing community college in California. So, which is pretty cool. So it's continuing to grow, it's getting bigger and bigger. They actually have a satellite camp, another satellite campus in the Temecula area as well. That, that's a lot smaller, uh, but the one in Menifee, you could, I mean, you could pull it up on the on the Google machine there and see all the info. And it's actually, it's pretty nice. You know, it's, it's pretty good size. Um, if you're not from the area and you, you just kind of wanted to know, there is another community college that a lot of the local kids will go to down in San Marcos, which is San Diego County, um, and that is Palomar College, so Palomar Community College. Uh, so a lot of kids will go down there as well, but MSJC is closer and uh, it's continuing to grow. So I thought those were some pretty cool stats. So um, ho hopefully hopefully the info helps you guys out. Um, I, again, I, I thought it was pretty helpful to me, even as a, as a realtor, obviously I try and stay involved in the community and have a good understanding of what's going on, what's changing, what's coming, what's you know closing, and you know all, all that good stuff. So I thought it was good info. Um, hopefully you're liking it. Guys, uh, again, if you have any questions, you can feel free to reach out to me. Uh, call, text, email. Would would definitely love to hear from you. And hopefully talk to you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.